Who is Ramona? Well, this is a, a project that started a number of years ago. Uh, she's a female, uh, she's my female alter ego. And I wanted to demonstrate at this conference called TED, Technology Entertainment Design, uh, at the 2001 TED conference, a feature of virtual reality that you can be someone else. Because I, I mentioned that you, know, you and I could go into a virtual reality environment and uh, take a walk on a virtual Cancun beach in, in virtual reality environments. And we'll have virtual bodies in these virtual reality environments, particularly when it's through the nervous system. When we have uh, nanobots in our brains that can shut down the signals coming from our real senses, replace them with the signals that your brain would be receiving if you were in the virtual environment, then it'll feel like you're in that virtual environment. And design of new virtual environments will be a new art form. And as I go to move my hand, it'll move my virtual hand. And so I can be an actor in this virtual environment. We could shake hands and give each other a hug, or we can, take, we can run on the beach or sit down at a desk uh, and have a experiences in these virtual reality environments. But your, your body doesn't have to be the same body that you have in real reality. A couple could become each other, for example. And, all, and so I wanted to demonstrate how you could do that. So I had magnetic sensors in my clothing. As I moved, a life-size, realistic, real-time animation, pretty photorealistic, of Ramona moved exactly the way I did. My voice was changed into her voice using some other computer technology. And that drove her lips. And so it looked like she was giving the presentation. But I was actually being transformed into her. And the audience could see me and her. And, and actually, we have a demonstration to show the folks at home. But well, in virtual reality, you can be who you want to be. And you can be where you want to be and with whom you want to be. And you can even have been who you want to have been. Well, my childhood was kind of tough, although I didn't really think about that at the time. You know, you don't really have much to compare to, but my pa, he was always trying hard, but he never did seem to be able to hold on to a job. Well, I haven't written that many songs, but I try to express what's most deeply on my mind. In virtual reality, you can be someone else. You don't have to be the same boring person all the time. I mean, you all have these personalities inside you that don't quite fit with your bodies in real reality. So basically, most people just, like, kill them all off. Some people don't actually keep any of their personalities, which reminds me of some of my old boyfriends, but that's another story.